What's up, YouTube? Hey, you see that pot back there with the steam coming from it? That should tell you one thing. It's pasta time, baby. Stay tuned. As you can see, I got some boiling salted water. Salted it down real good. We're gonna do pasta, and we're not gonna just do any kind of pasta. We're doing shrimp, lemon shrimp pasta. Lemon garlic shrimp pasta with a lemon parmesan gr uh, gremolata on top. Gonna be in crazy flavor, man. So check it out. This is the pasta I'm using right there. If, you're not, if you don't know about the Garden of Life veggie pasta, get on that, that stuff is excellent. The seasoning for today, of course, my stuff and some garlic salt. We, of course, have got some olive oil. And for our gremolata, we've got some parsley, lemon, and the Parmesan. We're going local with the Parmesan today. And the lemon, we'll use the zest and the lemon juice. And of course, you've got to have a grater and a, a good chef's knife. And the star of the show, of course, is the shrimp. And don't forget, you always got to have a cutting board. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. This is going to be a fantastic video. It's a quick video for you guys that do meal prep or are into, you know, uh, quick fix meals on a budget that don't cost a lot of money. This is the thing for you, man. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, as I said before, we're cooking pasta today. Uh, so I've got my boiling water. I'm going to go based off the package directions, man. Nothing, it, it ain't nothing complicated about this. I'm going for... I want my pasta to be firm. Eight minutes. That's what I'm doing, baby. All we're going to do is drop it in the pot. Salted water. Set our timer. Eight minutes. And boom. It's off. Stay tuned. Step one. All right. All right. All right. The pasta is ready. Cut the stove off. All right. This is all we're gonna do. All we're gonna do is take that pasta. We got a strainer right here. Any excess water, we're gonna strain it off in this strainer. It's gonna go through the strainer, rather. And this is a good meal, man, like, especially for meal prep folks, man. The key to it is to make the pasta ahead of time. Allow the pasta to cool so that you can get all of the starches and stuff off of it. Because this, this, this particular recipe works best when the pasta has cooled and you can do what you want to do with it. Stir fries, anything, man. This is a great way to utilize the pasta, man, the next day. So what you do, this is what I do. This is where your olive oil becomes key. We're basically just gonna hit it with a light coat of olive oil because I don't want the, needle, I don't want the noodles to stick. I'm gonna hit it with a light coat of olive oil, just like that. I'm gonna let these noodles cool and when we come back, We'll move on to step number three. Stay tuned. All right. We've done step one, which was cooking the pasta. We've done step two, which was cooling the pasta, oiling the pasta. All right, now we're on step three. Step three is making the gremolata. So we have here a bowl. We have here a grater. And we have the lemon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lemon and we're gonna grate it. And we're gonna grate all of the lemon. And again, you don't want the, the white stuff, you just want the yellow stuff. And so we'll sit here and we'll grate it. Get as much as we can off of here. And man, if you could just smell it. Well, I'm sure if you've zested any kind of citrus fruit, then you understand the flavor intensity and the impact of flavor that lemon zest or lime zest or even orange zest can add to a meal it's incredible all right let's tap off any excess zest that's right here in the bowl all right we've got it all taken care of phase two that's our lemon zest. this is a local parmesan cheese phase two is parmesan step number three parsley make sure you wash your parsley when it comes from the store man ain't nothing worse than some gritty parsley
We got our parsley. Into the dish it goes. Into the gremolata. We ain't leaving no parsley behind. Get all of it. That's it. And now what you do with your fingers, your God-given tools, toss it around. So now you've got lemon zest. You've got Parmesan cheese. And this is not the grated Parmesan cheese. And then you've got some beautiful parsley. And again, this is a shredded Parmesan cheese, a domestic one that I found here at a local farmer's market. And that's it. So we're going to put this to the side, and this is going on the dish when we finish up. This is step three on step four. All right, folks, I think we're on step number four. Step number four is cooking. Now it's time to take everything that we've done and put it all into one mashup. All right, so let's get, let's get started. I got my heat on medium-high heat, and uh, we're going to start off with some olive oil. And again, remember now, a lot of olive oil in this dish is not going to hurt it because we want those noodles to suck up that olive oil later on when we finish off the dish, as you'll see. So that's probably about, I don't know, I never measure, man. That's probably about a fourth a cup of olive oil, if, if maybe a little less than that. It don't really matter. I don't have fresh garlic, so in substitute of fresh garlic, I'm going to use garlic salt. But if you have fresh garlic, this is the time where you'd go ahead and sweat that garlic a little bit, let it fragrant the oil, and it's just a, it's just a beautiful thing, really. All right. Next thing is the shrimp. No particular order, throw them in there. And as you can see, I didn't season these shrimp first. I didn't season them first and, and, and that's no big deal. Now I'm going to season them. And of course I'm using my stuff and I'm getting in there. And I'm gonna be pretty generous on the seasoning. And then I'm gonna also use a little bit of garlic salt. Just a little bit. And we're going to let this cook down. Everybody knows how to cook shrimp. The shrimp tell you when they're ready to get tossed around. All right. This is the time when I also, I like a little heat in mine. So I'm going to add a little red pepper flake also. Just a little bit. If you like a lot, add a lot. If you like a little, add a little. And this part right here is gonna go real fast, man. Real, real fast. We're cooking. We're not even gonna stop the camera. We're just gonna keep rolling. Move your shrimp around. Really, your shrimp gonna tell you when they're ready to ready to get tossed around. Look at that. Beautiful. We season them after we got them in the pan. And one of the reasons why is because um, I want that oil to get a little bit of that seasoning as well. And I just find when I season the shrimp when they're in the pan, I get all the extra seasoning all around here. And we're gonna deglaze this pan with some lemon juice so you'll see how it all comes together. Put these shrimp, you know, I don't know. Yeah, shrimp generally is what, three minutes? Three to three minutes. They look really good. All right, next step in it. Our shrimp are cooking. They look really good. That lemon that you had, uh, we cut it in half. The same lemon that we zested, we cut it in half. So we're gonna get these shrimp. One last flip. Be careful with flipping, cause you know you got that oil in there. They look pretty good. Now we're going in with the lemon juice. Put your hand over it. And this is what I was saying about the seasoning. The lemon juice is gonna go in there and deglaze the pan for you. It's gonna get all that extra seasoning in it. And that's what you want. And if you like a lot of lemon, add a lot of lemon. You got two lemon halves, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. You don't have to, I just like a lot of lemon with my shrimp. All right. Shrimp look good. I'm gonna give them one more flip. It smells amazing, man. All right, our heat is still on medium high heat. Now, the pasta, it has cooled. The pasta has cooled. And as you can see, because we added that oil to it, it's nice and loose. So what are we gonna do? Dump it all in. All in the pan. Right now you can turn your heat up just a little bit. And the pasta is gonna suck up all that lemon juice and all of that olive oil. You already had olive oil on the noodles, and then you had olive oil in the pan when you cooked the shrimp, so it's gonna suck it all up. And as you can see, 
all the juice is gone. The noodles are sucking it all up. So this part right here, you want to be quick with it. You're just really trying to heat the noodles through. Let it sit there a little bit. At this point, I kind of turned my stove down a little bit. I'm not really trying to cook it no more. I'm really just trying to get the residual heat. If you need to, this is a good point where you can add a little more seasoning. I like to dust just a little bit more seasoning on there. And you can hear it. All right. Looks good. All right, step number five next. All right, guys, we're on the final step. I think this is step number six. We've got our pasta with our shrimp and we're going in the bowl. I always like to start with the pasta. This is probably enough for two people, man. And again, this is a great menu prep, a meal prep item if you're a meal prepper because this stuff warms up really good really 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 good the next day we're gonna throw a few shrimp on top and any kind of extra olive oil and lemon juice we're just gonna throw it on top like that and that's the dish right there beautiful beautiful but we're not finished yet our grimalata remember the grimalata this is where the grimalata comes into play you take that grimalata and you just make it look real pretty on top, man. That right there, my friends, is a beautiful, beautiful lemon garlic shrimp pasta with a lemon and Parmesan gremolata. Beautiful, man. Y'all be blessed, man. Again, it's a quick meal, quick video. But as you can see, this is something right here that's going to give you the energy to start your day for lunch, it's a good lunch item, it's a good dinner item, just a good light meal item overall. And it's beautiful presentation, man. <laughs> you know, I just thought about it. Ain't no such thing as a video that ends and you don't taste the food. Look at that, man. You take that, you take that gremolata and you mix it up in there, man. Get you a nice little, look at that, man. Mmm. Shrimp. Amazing, man. Again, good vibes, good food. Y'all be blessed. Catch up with that.